Red 13, or his proper name Nanaki, is an interesting character in the Final Fantasy VII party lineup because, being an animal, his role is kind of that of an ambassador for the planet, for the natural world. Cosmo Canyon and Nanaki are both designed with what you might call Pan-American indigenous aesthetics, tying into how Final Fantasy VII positions indigeneity and connection to the land in opposition to Shinra and Midgar, which is literally a city raised away from the land on stilts. With his anatomy somewhere halfway between a big cat and a wolf, Nanaki also brings to mind lion dog statues, which in East Asia are commonly used as spiritual guards guardians of significant places, further cementing him as a representation of the spiritual and animalistic as opposed to the industrial aesthetics of someone like Cloud and Barrett. The clever trick that Final Fantasy VII pulls, though, is that for all his quiet, introspective reservation and connection to the spiritual, Nanaki is, in his species terms, barely more than a teenager, immature, inexperienced, uncertain, and conflicted. And so he also gets to join in on Final Fantasy VII's overarching theme of identity as he finds himself on the journey to defeat Sephiroth. As a kid, I always thought Red Thirteen was by far the coolest character design in the party, and as an adult, I still kinda do.